Alrighty guys, I'm Morthodon, and we are back for Seven Deadly Sins Revival of the Commandments, episode 13. So, real quick announcement before we get started. I have an issue with the lighting in my room. Uh, I don't remember if, uh, in, in this room that I record in, that is, uh... And the, uh, I don't remember if it happened in the last Seven Deadly Sins episode, but in several of my reactions, the lights have been flickering, and, uh, it's been getting really bad. I don't know what is causing it, but it's been really bad ever since I changed my bulbs, so I changed my bulbs back to the old ones that I was using, so the lighting is a little bit more dim than it was before. You might notice that, but so far the flickering has stopped for now, even though it was doing it a little bit on these bulbs. I don't know what's going on, guys, but uh, if that happens during this episode, I might address it real quickly, but I'm going to try to ignore it because I think I messed up my, my, uh, my Boruto reaction a little bit by constantly being annoyed by it. So I'm just going to try to... I'll mention it, and then I'll ignore it from then on, you know, so... Because uh, I mentioned it like five times during that episode of how annoying it was. So, anyways, guys. Uh, yeah, so last time on uh, Seven Deadly Sins, we had the... Uh, what did we have? Oh, yeah, we had the uh, commandments split up into groups of two, I think, and go their own ways. And then we had uh, Meliodas and their whole gang finish their training, and they're heading out to hunt these guys. So... I'm hoping we get some good fighting soon. We also have Bon, who is dealing with uh, some resurrect or resurrected friggin' Elaine. That's what it was right at the end of the episode. We we had that coming in, and they were kissing. So, yeah, she's. We had like all these people being resurrected with their souls being corrupted, wanting to get revenge on the people that went on living. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this episode, guys. So let's just jump into it, shall we? Alrighty, guys, we are going to start the episode in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. Provoked by Meliodas! Yes, they did split up. <laughs> All according to plan. And they kiss. Flower petals everywhere. <laughs> Jeez, Bond, so confident in that already. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Jericho. Oh, shit. Bon is very accepting of anything right now. <laughs> she crazy. <laughs> All right, so we have Crazy Elaine. Excuse me. Sipping on some water. Nanatsu no Taizai. What? This is new, right? I guess it's episode 13. It's the second half of the season. Oh, shit. Oh, Meliodas going into the darkness. Ah, we got Elaine. That guy we saw at the end of last episode, I forgot about that actually. Liz. Elizabeth. <laughs> oh. 
or I flared out. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> that one, that one commandment didn't have his uh, thing over his head. Some just cool fighting animation stuff. Ah, oh, this makes me excited. A lot of these might not actually be in... Like, I'm hoping a lot of these visuals aren't in. Usually they make up a lot of the fighting stuff. Um, for the opening. But a lot of those animations are very cool for the fighting, and I'm really hoping that they... Uh, Farewell, beloved thief. Oh. Jeez. I wonder... Something I also just thought of... Jeez. If she can vent enough, will her soul fix, maybe? I didn't think about that last time. I thought about several ways that she could become normal again. <laughs> Cat fight! <laughs> Okay, so at least Bond sees it. I thought he was blinded by love. Oh my god, no! Jericho! Hmm... Is Jericho actually getting to her? Damn. Hmm. Oh, jeez. So she is, like, fighting it. Sort of. <laughs> Jericho. Oh, Bon. Oh, shit. Galland. And this other girl. So she's just gonna go back to being dead.
Melascula. His thief power. <laughs> okay, so there was a line about a name that I missed. Do they know Bond's real name? Is that what I missed? I'm gonna have to rewatch that. Critical strike. Jesus, so what happens if his upper half is severed? Oh, he landed together again. It's just gonna heal. But what if you kept him separated? How would he heal? I wonder. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> just punched his head off. If I destroy your head, it's over for you? No, uh uh. Just one punch. Bond can steal your power, too. I wonder if he's doing that yet, stealing their strength. He was doing that to Meliodas. Alright, what's this one punch gonna be look like? What's this one punch gonna look like? Is that him pulling the power in? Oh shit, he's killing all the birds too! <laughs> oh sorry, I hit you twice. I love this. <laughs> Doom. And poor Gallon just getting his ass whooped over and over. <laughs> First Meliodas and now freaking Bond. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Oh shit, what's this? Hmm. Elaine, maybe? Jesus. Damn. Bond's dedication, baby.
Oh no, Bansol! What happens to what happens to him when his soul is taken out? This can't be the end of Bond. This would be one hell of a way for Bond to go out if he were to actually die, and like, a way to motivate the other sins, right? Uh-oh. Meliodas can tell? Is he gonna head this way? <gasps> oh, Elaine can still do a little bit. Oh, shit. Maybe Bond can, like, possess Galland or something? Can he steal his soul back? Can he steal his soul back? Somehow? Rip it out of Gallon's stomach. Oh. Maybe. Or will Meliota show up and save the day? Oh! He's back! Oh! What? Did he just steal their hearts? One of them. They have more than one? Okay, we need anime exposition. Hmm. Ugh. What the hell is that tongue? Oh, poor Jericho. Hmm. Okay, what are we gonna do? What 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 happened? I mean Oh what Holy shit, Zivago! Wow! Ugh. I wonder if there's a way to keep her from dying again. Is she carrying both of them? What a beast. Go Jericho! Somehow find Meliodas!
What? Who said that to- wait, what? What? Oh. Wait, what? Who is this? Oh, are these the two people we saw last episode? Interesting. <laughs> what? Ah, <laughs> she freaking manipulating him. Blind loyalty, oh jeez. Love drive. <laughs> I love you! <laughs> God damn it. This chick. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. He just took four arrows to the back. Are you hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Further. I have a feeling she's going to regret this. He's going to still be able to fight it, isn't it? And she's going to be way more confident. What? All right, so what can this guy do? Vain. Ah. So he essentially uses more mana. <laughs> oh, this guy. We saw him before, right? I'm pretty sure we have. I don't remember where. <sighs> What a weirdo. Marriage! Damn. Hmm. What? Wait, is that it? Oh. Oh, that's it. Oh, we have a new outro, too. I'm gonna miss that old song, but let's give this one a chance. Some cool little, like, drawing-type stuff. Is that Elaine next to Elizabeth? And then that's Deanne in the background. Yep. 
Oh, Bond and Elaine. Dean and King. Oh. Elizabeth and Hawk, the perfect match. <laughs> Does that mean we're going to get Meliodas and Liz? Oh. Nope, we're just going to get Meliodas walking up on her in the grass. All right. So that is the end of episode 13, guys. So... Okay, before anything, real fast, I want to go back... Oh, can I find it? Okay, no, my bad. Okay, okay. Are you one of the seven deadly sins that Fraudron mentioned? And then he said, who's Fraudron? Okay. I, don't, I missed that line, so sorry for looking like an idiot during the reaction. I missed that line, so when I just saw who's Fraudron, I thought she, like, somehow knew Bond's real name, and that wasn't, like... Because I don't know if Bond's real name is Bon, right? Like, because we don't know who his parents were. We don't know any of that. So either he might not remember his own name, or he might have done something like uh, just changed it and made something up, you know? But anyway, it was my bad. It was a misunderstanding. We got that settled now. Okay. So before I forget, I also want to talk about real quick Dreyfus in this episode, because... We had a moment where Dreyfus said that he wanted to quench his thirst on those girls like he wanted to kill them, right? That's what it seemed like. And then a voice told him not to. So, I'm confused. We know he's possessed by a thing making him do evil stuff, but is he also, like... Did they warp his personality, too? Because, like, the thing could just possess, possess him and do whatever it wants. But does that mean his personality is also warped, kind of like, uh, Hendrickson's was? Uh, because, obviously, I don't think Dreyfus normally, before possession, would ever want to harm these women, right? Uh, or is there something about, uh, Dreyfus that has changed, and now Dreyfus just is this murderous guy, and he has the possession in him? I don't know. I think it's more that his personality was just corrupted, but it made me wonder when I saw, like, like the the guy tell him no or whatever when he tried to, when he tried to, you know, hurt those women. So that was just, that was just interesting to me. I wanted to bring it up before I forgot, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's just that, that, that enemy, that thing that's possessing Dreyfus is able to just corrupt his personality. I think it's just as simple as that. I don't think it's anything like, oh, he's had this darkness in him for however many years, and now he just enjoys killing people, you know? Because I think as soon as, like... I think they're going to save Dreyfus, right? And he's going to go back to being good, kind of like Hendrickson did. I think that's, like, the end game for, for Dreyfus. Uh, but we'll see, I guess. But yeah. Anyway, uh, so the Elaine just went batshit crazy like we thought she would from the beginning because she was brought back with a vengeful soul, and uh, Jericho actually made her come to terms with her own regrets, you know, which was crazy that it wasn't even Bond that did it, it was Jericho, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but the only bad thing is, is once you come to term with, term with your regrets that soul can no longer live on because that's just how uh, that girl's spell Meliculus or something <laughs> sorry I got that totally wrong uh, but that's how that's how uh, her spell works so Elaine is potentially going to die soon unless they figure something out but I guess we'll see if they manage to figure something out I don't know uh, but but yeah, that was just, that was so nuts that Jericho was able to get through to her, you know, that was really cool, yeah, I, I really liked it, but, but yeah, and then we had, uh, the, obviously Galland and the, the Meliculous girl, I'm gonna say that wrong for the whole video, uh, 
the uh, freaking Bond just trashing on him, but then obviously, okay, so this is something I want to talk about, right? The the soul being pulled out of Bond and Bond being so close to actually being killed, I think that's really cool because, you know, up until now we've always been like, well, I don't know if Bond's going to defeat this guy, but he's not going to die, right? Like, it's always been that logic because there's nothing that can kill him. He's immortal. But these demons are able to pull out his soul, so now Bond has something to worry about. And I think that's really cool because, you know, even though I really like his just, like, tank every hit aspect to himself where he just doesn't give a crap and let people, like, wail on him... I think this might change Bond to be a little bit more strategic in how he approaches these guys and not just be so, you know, nonchalant about it. So I, I think that's really neat because when you have an immortal character, you need to have that fear that he might die every now and then and uh, and learn, like, what his limits are. And now we've found a, a hard limit for him, so... That'll be interesting. I was wondering if he was going to somehow be able to use his magic to, like, steal his soul back. But no, just Zivago's soul apparently was still lingering. Wasn't... Okay, so I'm not sure. Either Zivago's soul was still lingering because it hasn't went to the other world yet from when he died. Or somehow, uh... Or he was brought back with that lady's spell... And, uh, he was just able to fight off his revenge side by himself and was able to save Bond that way. I'm not sure which one it was supposed to be, but, uh, either way, I think it's really cool that Zivago showed up and I think it's really cool that he was able to trade spaces. It sucks, though, because Zivago was now consumed, so like Bond said in the episode, that means his soul is going to go to the other world where his son's is. You know, but he, you know, he went out knowing that he saved one of his sons. So that was that was really sweet and heartwarming and awesome and and stuff like that. Uh, but but yeah, we also had Meliodas who sensed that something was wrong with Bon. Now, is there some kind of connection between Meliodas and the other sins that caused him to sense that? Or is that Meliodas being so goddamn powerful that he was able to uh, that he was able to just sense Bond's presence from however far away they are? I'm not sure which one it's supposed to be. They left that kind of out in the open. We've had Meliodas kind of sense stuff like that before, so I'm um, I'm curious if it is just Meliodas's overwhelming power. Or if there's something that maybe has to do with the tattoos or some kind of, like, magical thing that bonds them all together so that way Meliodas can know when something happens. I don't know. Maybe they'll explain it. Maybe they won't. We might just have to make assumptions. But but that's very interesting, I'd say, um, that that he was able to detect that from, from so far away, you know. But, but yeah. Um, just... Bond stealing half their power, and I, I love that Galland was just like, I'm sorry for, you know, talking trash before, so I'll give you one free hit. And Bond just steals half his power, and it's just like, you know, you know friggin', you'll regret that. Granted, the one hit didn't kill him, unfortunately, but it seemed to, uh, seemed to have an effect on Galland enough that the other girl had to, had to cut in to save Galland and stuff like that, so, yeah. Very cool stuff. I love that whole bit. That was badass. Uh, I love when Bond just goes all out because I don't think we've seen Bond go all out on anybody but Meliodas during the fight. Now I could be wrong, but you know during that fight when they were in the in the ring and he kept draining Meliodas's power and Meliodas had to activate his like demon power in order to beat him. Um, I could be wrong, but I think that's really the only time we've seen him making a lot of use out of his, uh, out of his abilities, so I'm really looking forward to, like, more fights with him and seeing what he's fully capable of, you know? Um, and does he, 
did he ever have like the sacred treasure or whatever the the like Meliodas's sword that allows him to make the doubles of himself or Deanne's hammer did he ever have one of those or is his just the fact that he can't die um or is it his nunchuck things that he was using in this episode or is it something that he lost and doesn't have anymore you know I'm wondering, like, how much stronger is he going to become if he gets one of those? That'll be kind of interesting. Uh, maybe you guys can let me know. I think they talked about it in previous episodes because I know, like, we went through a list of what happened to everybody. It's like Deanne, like, lost hers or something. Meliodas sold his or something. And then I thought, like, Bond had something happen to his, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't think he's ever gotten it back yet. And I imagine he's gonna at some point, or I'm just wrong and he never had one, but... But yeah, anyway, um, I'm curious about about all that, but yeah, and then just going back to the Dreyfus stuff, but on the other side, the people that were attacking him, these Holy Knights, they uh, have some interesting abilities, they're very, uh, I wouldn't say is very warrior-like, you know, but you know, she's able to make people essentially fall in love with her and not be able to even hurt her and stuff like that. Dreyfus was able to a little bit just because, uh, or he hesitated because he was fighting it because he's so powerful, but then she, she dug her roots in even more, and now supposedly he's under full control, but I still feel like maybe he'll snap out of it enough to kill her, maybe, and he'll get away, because... I don't know, I just, these, these other Holy Knights were just thrown into this mix last episode, and I just feel like they're not big enough characters to actually take down someone like Dreyfus. So even though they have him and they're leaving with him now, I think that ball of many faces is going to maybe rescue him. And maybe the ball of many faces has a way to dispel whatever, uh, oh, shoot, De Delphris, Del Delvis, De Do De Do 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 <laughs> Uh, Denzel is the main dude. Deldry, that's her name, sorry. Okay, there we go, <laughs> my bad. Um, Deldry, uh, maybe they'll have a way to disperse her power and then he'll be able to kill her or something, but, uh, and then the, the other guy who is able to make you use more of your magic power, which essentially just increases the amount of mana he needs to, to use his abilities, so he runs out faster, gets worn out faster, and stuff like that. They're, they're very, like crowd control -y kind of things where they're just trying to, like, hinder the enemies until they're able to kill them, you know? Which is an interesting way to fight. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the most, like, you know, if you're thinking about, like, warrior spirit, like, get in there and just, like, brawl them down, you know? They're not much of that, but, uh, I think that's a good strategy in its own right, so they're, they're doing their thing. I don't know what this weird marriage guy came in. He just kind of hit, uh hit with his sword, so I don't know what he's capable of, uh, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm into it, I, I can't wait to see more of what's going on in the show, and just see where Meliodas shows up, and see them fight too, I'm looking forward to all this, so, yeah guys, I think that's it for me though, thank you so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you did, check out my Patreon if you want to see the next episode right now, or if you want to see my Patreon exclusives that are on there, the link is in the description below, or you can go to patreon.com slash morthodon. I appreciate all the support. So yeah, guys, I will see you in my future reactions. Bye!